back to another Tesco grocery haul. I hope everybody's enjoying the summer. Weather hasn't been great, I know. Uh, we're having a nice relaxed day today. The children are out at my mum's, so I'm just going to put the shopping away and potter about, maybe do a little bit of cooking. Here's our shopping for the week. So we've got seven days worth here. Trying to be careful after this week because we're going on holiday at the end of the month. Um, I have got a meal plan to show you at the end as well. So straight in, uh, we've got some drinks at the back. Obviously our usual juices and the dozen eggs which tends to do us for the week. I've got some different fizzy pop this week. Do you know, I think I'd forgotten how cheap, cheap pop is. These were two bottles for 90p. You can't even get a little bottle of Coke for that. Uh, my children asked for the cream soda. They'd had a, a can of it somewhere, I think, a few weeks ago and really liked it. Ginger beer for me, and I think that might make a nice mixer for spirits. I've got a little bit of vodka, maybe even gin. Who knows? Uh, only alcohol this week is the three ciders. They're the same ones we got last time. That elderflower copper bog, I've said before, if you you like fizzy wine get all over it. it's absolutely lovely and the chaplains and corks is a newish cider this year that my husband is enjoying the cider cup we had for the first time last week this is the plum and apple variety now pims i always think of as being very summery but i would say this has got quite an autumnal feel to it with the plum you could also you can imagine it spiced and maybe warm in the winter i wonder if they'll do a variety for that but yeah highly recommended that one few bits of frozen. Kelly's started advertising on TV, I see now. We've really enjoyed this ice cream for quite a while. It's super cheap. It goes on offer $1.99, but it's much nicer than equivalent cheap ice creams, if you know what I mean. Uh, I normally get the salted caramel, but that's not my favourite. Oh, please excuse me, the dryer's just popped on. Um, I've gone here for the lemon curd tart, which will be absolutely my first choice. I'm not sure if the children will like it, but tough i have to buy something for me sometimes right uh chicken nuggets we always get chicken same there and a pizza as usual this i used to buy this loads in the cooler months and we were watching master chef last night master chef celebs i don't know if any of you saw it and one of the contestants made a strudel and it reminded me that we used to love this so you keep it in your freezer it takes a while to cook but i think you put it in while you're eating your dinner and then it's ready just at the right kind of supper time and it's a nice generous portion this is about a pound and I think absolutely well recommended and delicious if it's as nice as I remember on to kind of fridge type meats we've got um, they do like this 3 for 10 offer in Tesco's they've done it for years but lately it seems to have been very much about barbecue meats I don't always think it's the best value the meats are prepared and I think that's what you pay for but I wanted different inspiration for meat this week so I've gone for some ribs I've gone for these spicy thin cut beef steaks. I wanted thin cut beef steaks on this week anyway with rice and I was going to buy some dressing. But by the time I bought this dressing I figured I might as well get these ready seasoned ones. Uh, I don't know how spicy they'll be, we'll see. And some minted lamb leg steaks. I've got kebabs on later this week and I'm hoping to kind of put those on because I always think as lamb is a greeky kebabby type food. There we go. Uh, other meats, I've got um, chicken, so the extra large ones are on offer. You, ha you might have seen in previous videos, I do prefer a free-range chicken, but we couldn't budget for it this week because this needs to do quite a few meals, and one this size would just be astronomical. Um, but yeah, the extra large one here, you can see way over two kilograms. I've got two dinners and hopefully lunches planned for this as well. So that's the meat meat, I think. Oh, and a packet of bacon, which we sometimes have breakfast of a weekend. Fruit and veg, loving the summer for fruit and veg. I got an, an onion. I always get a loose onion. Look at that. It's an absolute beast. It reminds me of what we used to call Spanish onions as a kid. Do you still buy Spanish onions? I remember they were a lot milder. And in fact, I, I do recall seeing on TV, uh, it must have been a film or a drama, a Mexican character eating it like an apple and being so impressed. I really like the milder onions, so I'm hoping it is one of those varieties. Strawberries as always, other berries, I've got some blackberries this week, again we have blackberries in the garden but it's too early for them, we do have a big cherry tree which um, I'm hoping will be ready soon, in fact I'll give you a quick quick look over there, excuse the state of my garden, it's the tree right in the middle, oh you can't see it at all can you, but it's full of fruit and the cherries are normally ready in a couple of weeks so looking forward to those. We've got satsumas which I'm back on satsumas, um, nectarines, we've been getting six in a punnet, there's only four in here but they are absolute beasts 
uh, still a bargain, 69p. I've gone for the Jazz Apples again this week. Both my boys really, really enjoyed these. Uh, so they're 50p more than the Gala, but I find if they eat them all and no waste, I think it's still better value. My Pink Slaw, uh, this was the only short date item, but it's just for me and it'll get eaten. Some floppy salad. We've not been eating the iceberg, so I didn't go for one of those this week. I shall buy salad as and when during the week as I need it. Some avocado and some organic carrots. So I've gone back to the organic carrots. Since they switched to this whatever farm brand, the value brand, the carrots have been horrendous, like slimy and rotten within a day. The organics tend to dry out, if anything, but they do just taste nicer. So um, carrots are cheap anyway, so with all the things to go organic on, I'm happy to do that. Three for two on some of their pre-packed veg. Don't normally do this, wanted to try something different. The kids love the soybeans. I bought them in the pod last week and they were horrible. So definitely going back to the loose ones. The frozen ones are all right, but these are much nicer. So went for those. And halloumi. It seems to be the wonder ingredient at the moment. People are talking about it. I've never had it. I gather it's a cheese that kind of holds its shape and is a bit rubbery and a bit salty, which doesn't sound the nicest, but... I'm willing to give it a go. So we've got these halloumi kebabs and I'm going to do that with the lamb later on this week. And because it was three for two, I got some roast potatoes for tomorrow's roast because there wasn't really anything else on there I thought we'd go for. Unfortunately, I did forget to take off the big bag of potatoes I'd ordered. So I don't really have a lot of plans for these, but there are some big ones in there. So they'll be good for bakers maybe during the week for lunches. Cupboardy stuff. Uh, not a lot this week, actually. I've, I'm trying to shop fresh only a couple of bags of club biscuits as requested by my daughter i prefer them when they're on offer but you know she did ask so she gets those uh, mint sauce i get through two jars of this a year i know that exactly because i always have to buy a jar in july for some reason um it's just the way it always works out that we run out of the Christmas jar at this time of year. So that's my replacement. Nutella. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. This isn't even the biggest jar. I think they do a one kilogram jar. Because I wouldn't have bought the very biggest one, I don't think. But it's massive. We do eat a lot of Nutella. But I find it dries up. So I'd rather buy smaller jars more frequently. Um, but there we go. We'll see how long that one lasts. And tin of cheap hot dogs. Less said about that, the better. I'll just find them a useful cupboard standby. Fridge bits. Just some cheese we needed. Um, cooked meat. There's pork there and beef. I'm finding it uh, is helping me to take it into work. It's good. The squash and yogurts that the kids like. And just some crisps for the crisp bag. So hula hoops, which were half price variety pack. French fries. These were 75p for six bags, which is super cheap. I think it was half price, so I don't know if it was less than that, um, but I just went for the plain ones because nobody really eats the cheese and onion in this house. Then bread and wraps at the back. That's almost it. Um, for kind of other bits, cleaning bits, I had to get some washing up liquid. This is something else that's a very infrequent purchase in this house because we've got a dishwasher um, and... I'm not much of a housekeeper, to be honest, so I don't wash up that much. They were two for two pounds, I think. So uh, this will literally last us a year before I have to buy any again. Um, there we go, and that's everything. So it was about 80 quid, I think, but predominantly fresh produce. I have done all my stocking up on things like kitchen roll and toilet roll. We were good to go for all of that. Uh, there we go, that light's a bit better, isn't it? So there we go. Not too bad. Over and I'll show you the meal plan for this week, which is already up on the fridge. Super organised that I am. Uh, there we go. Tonight, haddock chowder, which I was supposed to make last week, but never made. It's only me and my husband. The kid won't touch it, but they're not here, so we're going to have that. Tomorrow, roast chicken. Then Monday, uh, we'll go for that spicy beef with some wild rice, I think. Tuesday, the leftover chicken with noodles. Then macaroni cheese, with probably with a bit of bacon on the Wednesday. Those halloumi and lamb kebabs with couscous. I put cashew nuts or sometimes chickpeas in my couscous, make it a bit more interesting. Our Friday night usual of pizza and chicken wraps with those chicken nuggets. And Saturday, we um, haven't had a takeaway for about six weeks. The children had very good parents evening, uh, not parents evening, school reports this week and they've requested a treat of KFC. So we'll have that on Saturday and I'll probably do the ribs and maybe some sweet corn or mash to sort of bump that up a little bit. 
there we go thank you as always for watching um, I'm aware these videos might be getting a little bit samey and boring now if there's anything else you'd like to see I'm trying to experiment with technology I might even put my face on camera please let me know but if you are still with me thank you so much and I'll see you soon bye